we want to solve the given equations. Here we have four examples of what's called two-step equations because we can solve for the variable by performing two operations to both sides of the equation. So looking at the first equation, we have 6m plus 6 equals negative 26. So our first step is to add or subtract in order to isolate the variable term. The variable term here is 8m, so we want to undo this plus 6 and therefore we'll subtract 6 on both sides of the equation. 6 minus 6 is 0, so now we have 8m equals negative 26 minus 6 is negative 32. And now for the next step, we want to multiply or divide to isolate the variable. Our variable is m. 8m means 8 times m. So to undo this multiplication and solve for m, we now divide both sides by 8. Notice on the left side, 8 divided by 8 simplifies to 1. 1 times m is just m. On the right side, we have negative 32 divided by 8, which equals negative 4. So our solution is m equals negative 4. Whenever we solve an equation, we can always check our solution by performing substitution. In this case, if we substitute negative 4 for m, it should satisfy the equation. So if we have the equation 8m, plus 6 equals negative 26. If we substitute negative 4 for m, we'd have 8 times negative 4 plus 6 equals negative 26. Simplifying the left side using the order of operations, we multiply first, we'd have negative 32 plus 6. And negative 32 plus 6 is equal to negative 26. And therefore, our solution is correct. Our next equation is negative 41 equals one minus seven x. We need to be careful here because of the subtraction. Notice here the variable term would be negative seven x. So for our first step, when we add or subtract to isolate the variable term, we want to undo this positive one and therefore we'll subtract one on both sides of the equation. One minus one is equal to zero. So now we have negative 41 minus one, that's negative 42 equals on the right side, we have negative 7x. For our second step, we multiply or divide to isolate the variable because negative 7x means negative 7 times x. To undo the multiplication and isolate the variable, we divide both sides by negative 7. So notice on the right side, we have negative 7 divided by negative 7, which simplifies to 1. 1 times x is just x. On the left side, we have negative 42 divided by negative 7, which equals positive 6. So our solution is x equals 6. Next we have 6 sevenths z plus 5 equals 17. Here the variable term is 6 sevenths z. So our first step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term. We need to undo this plus 5. So to undo the addition, we subtract 5 on both sides of the equation. 5 minus 5 is 0, so now we have 6 sevenths z equals 17 minus 5 equals 12. Step 2, we multiply or divide to isolate the variable. Our variable here is z. 6 sevenths z means 6 sevenths times z. So we're probably thinking we should divide both sides by 6 sevenths. But instead of dividing by a fraction, we normally multiply by the reciprocal. So here we'll multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of 6 sevenths which would be seven six. So notice on the left side, we have a common factor of seven here, which simplifies to one, as well as a common factor of six here, which simplifies to one. We know when we multiply reciprocals, we always get one. So here we have one times z or z. On the right side, let's write 12 as a fraction with the denominator of one. Notice how here we have a common factor of six there's one six and six and two sixes and 12. So our product here is just seven times two or 14. So our solution is z equals 14. And finally for our last equation, we have negative r minus eight equals negative five. Notice here the variable term is negative r. But we can also think of this as negative one r so to isolate the variable term, again, we add or subtract. So we want to undo this minus eight. So we add eight to both sides of the equation. 
negative eight plus eight is zero. So now we have negative r or negative one r is equal to negative five plus eight is three. So now we multiply or divide to isolate the variable. So negative one r means negative one times r. So to undo this multiplication and solve for r, we divide both sides by negative one. Negative one divided by negative one simplifies to one. One times r is r. And three divided by negative one equals negative three. So our solution is r equals negative three. The only solution we actually checked was the first one. However, I would encourage you to check the other three. I hope you found this helpful.